Hey guys, DaVinci Resolve for the iPad has a new update. We have now version 19.1.3. If you come here to the App Store, you can always see what is new here. When you click on this, you see all the list with all the, the past updates and you can always say here more. And the update that we have this time is a very, very small one. Addressed blank viewer preview for some fusion templates. Addressed issue with keyframing split tone in film look creator. Addressed issues with turning off enhanced viewer and some general performance and stabilization improvement. So this is a very minor one. I updated that one already. Let's see if the shortcuts for all the other pages in DaVinci Resolve is still working. So DaVinci Resolve is loading up. It's loading the oldest project, the last one that I opened. And now let's see if my shortcuts are still working. So here, control, yes. As you see here, I still have the edit page. I have the cut page. That was funny. It actually loaded the edit page. That, I'm not sure if that is new, but it was loading the edit page because I, let me see if this works. Close this again and open DaVinci Resolve and see if this works. I closed the program in the edit page. I still have the pages open. Wow. It's actually memorying it. The pages are open. This is the biggest new feature. Normally, every time when you started DaVinci Resolve, the pages, you had to basically just use the shortcut again to open them. But now they stay open. This is cool. Let me know if you find this cool. This is amazing. I'm Daniel. Here on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. See you in the next video. Bye.